Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a box frame. We're going to do the busy, busy, busy bee transfer with this cute cutout that goes along with it. We're going to paint this box frame with our bumblebee yellow. I'm going to show you guys how to paint with our chalk. Super awesome, super easy to do it. I'm going to dry brush this on and then I'm going to spritz it with some water and then you'll see how easy it is to paint with our chalk paste. Our chalk paste is super easy to paint with. You can do it with any of our colors. You can do it with singles or jars, however you want to, um, you know, whatever you have on hand. If you would rather paint with acrylic paints, that is also fine, but it's a lot easier to paint with our chalk paste. Like I said, I'm dry brushing this on. And you can see it goes on really easy. We also have an artisan tool set that you can use to paint with. I'm just using one of my craft brushes because it was right here. Now you could actually just dry brush this on, not wet it if you didn't want to. It's just easier for it to spread if you wet it. And so that keeps the other side traditional. So you can do something else on that side. Just kind of thinking outside the box frame continuing that trend that we were show, or I showed a video of. So many different possibilities to use our surfaces and transfers with. And to get down into those smaller spots, I might go and just grab one of the artisan tools Let's see, I have a small paintbrush right here. This actually would get into those corners a lot easier. So I will also put that in the cart link on how to get all of these supplies that we used here today. Like I said, you can even paint with our singles. You don't have to have the paste jars to paint with. I'm actually gonna just Puts this with a little bit of water. That way it helps move that paint or turns the paste into paint, I should say. Kind of makes it cover it a little bit better as well, it being wet. It just moves it around a little bit better. You can also take a baby wipe, which I've done this before too. That's 99% water. And you can actually use that to put the paste on as well. We're gonna dry this real quick and then we're gonna do another layer. many different techniques that you can use to paint with our paste. You can also paint canvas with our ink. It's pretty close to the same concept. You just wet it down just a little bit. Not a lot because our ink is already kind of wet. And you can use that as well. Or you can have like a thing of water. And... I would use distilled, of course, because our paste will um, mold if you use anything else. I'm just going to kind of dip that brush right in here. I've kind of got that brush wet now. Just do another layer.
since this is a sponge brush, it kind of is working better to spray the brush. I need to move the paste around. Now, if you like that kind of brush on look and you don't want to do multiple layers, and you don't want to make it extremely thick. You can also do that as well and still kind of see the wood green through. Depends on how you want it to look, of course. You can do multiple layers and make it extremely um, dark and thick. I'm going to do one more layer, I think. I always like to paint the side that is natural wood color so that I still have the white on the other side. It just makes more sense to me to do it like that. But you can paint either side, however you want to do it. You always want to make sure that the paint is 100% dry before, or the paste, before you put the transfer on top of it because it will peel some of that off with it. So one more time, we're gonna spritz that. We're gonna dip this in our paste, which won't hurt because the paste can get wet. It's not gonna hurt anything for a little bit of water to get into that jar. Now, if you were doing this with a single, I would pull some out and put them on a, um, on a paste tray and then spritz it from there. That's the way I would do it. But you can do it multiple different ways. Whatever works best for you. Okay, I'm seeing some spots that look like they're kind of gobbing up. So we're gonna try to wipe that down a little bit. We're using that baby wipe technique. And the baby wipe basically is going to make it look like a stain. And you can see that Kind of took a little bit of it off. That's okay. I'll show you how to get it back to. Yeah. There's a bunch of different techniques that you can do. And that's one thing that I love about chalk is the different techniques that you can use. And sometimes something will work that you try and sometimes it doesn't. And that's just how it goes. But it's always fun to try new techniques and new tricks with chalk. This time, I'll show you the baby wipe technique. So this is a 99% water baby wipe. So I'm actually going to get paste on that. And I'm just going to rub it on. On the box frame. I kind of like the wood grain look through only because then you kind of are knowing that that's a box frame, but if that's something that you don't like, then you can always make it darker and darker and darker. I like this because it kind of looks like it's been sanded, so it's kind of rough, which is kind of my style. I like that style. So we are going to let this sit for just a minute and dry while we work on our little B. I'm actually gonna run this through the thicker right so it just speeds it up a little bit more. Let me move you guys down so you can see a little bit better. So this little cute cutout is part of the Busy Bee um, Boutique chip, which this is really awesome because this is kind of like our chalkable chips. If you've ever used our chalk chips, they are reusable um, and double-sided. Same with these. Now, if you glue it down, obviously it's not going to be double-sided, but it is still reusable. So if you want to scrape it and redo it, you totally could do that. It's a cute little be cut out. So we're going to take the transfer 
and we are gonna fuzz it. What's great about our transfers are that now they are um, see-through, so it's a lot easier to line things up on a cutout like this. And then we're going to do this in black velvet. And we're just going to chalk just off of the silk screen, pulling that all through that silk screen. Pulling all of the extra because you want every little bit of that. Pull this cute little bee right off of there. How cute is he, right? Now to do this, we're going to protect this bottom piece because it does have some dry or some wet paste on it. So I'm actually going to stick it back on its backer sheet just where we're not going to chalk, just to protect our surface. I'll push this down, making sure it's Great, and it is not, so let's fix that. All right. I'm just gonna take the black velvet, go back over top. And then pushing all of that through that silk screen. And once this is done, then we'll put the little B on there. We're gonna dry everything. Closing up this. Paste jar. And then we're just gonna pull this back off its backer sheet. Now, if you have a little bit on the backer sheet, the backer sheet can be wiped off using a um, disinfectant wipe, like a Lysol, Clorox, any disinfectant wipe will work. Do not use a baby wipe because baby wipes will take the stickiness off of our transfers and Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes will not. So once that dries, it's not gonna take the stickiness away. All right. And we're going to dry this and then we'll get that little bee on there. I like this because it kind of gives me the look of honey, which is super cute. So to stick the bee on here, I'm actually going to use some of the, um, I have this craft um, sticky tape. You can get this at any craft store. I'm just going to run it across the back of it. You can see how sticky that is. Just kind of put it in some spots so that it'll stick. I'm going to stick him on there. Dry this real quick so I can push it down. And there is the busy, busy bee. How cute, right? Super awesome. I love making these projects that are just a little bit outside of the box, right? And even the ones that are just way outside of the box. But this is super, super cute. Sits on a shelf really well, or you can hang it if you want to put some hooks or something on it. I like this because it kind of reminds me of honey. It's a little bit on the um, rougher edge. Like you can still see the wood through. I just like it a lot. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great um, rest of your week. And I will see you all soon when I can go live again in July. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.